Hey guys, in my last video, I showed you how I was making freezer meals specifically for our family's ski trip. And now we are here in beautiful Panorama, um, which is in British Columbia, Canada. And it's like perfect weather and the snow is gorgeous and kids and everybody are out skiing. And I'm gonna show you what I'm doing with the freezer meals here. So last night when we arrived, I added them to the freezer. So you can see all the things that I had made specifically for the trip here. I've got some of the breakfast burritos in the door and some homemade cookies, of course, in the door. Um, we've got the uh, scrambled egg bites and oh, I've got some more cookies hidden under there. But um, yeah, these are the quesadillas that I'm making for myself for lunches. And then I've got all of the rest of the freezer meals there. And then in the fridge, I have got the barbecue pulled pork defrosting or thawing since last night. So I am about to throw that in the slow cooker because the barbecue pulled pork is what we are gonna have for dinner today. One of our sons brought some friends with him and so today I am actually feeding a lot of people. I don't even think I can do the math on how many people I'm feeding, but the um, barbecue pulled pork, or not, Dr. Pepper pulled pork, sorry, not barbecue pulled pork. The um, Dr. Pepper pulled pork is uh, going to be the perfect amount because we can throw that on buns with coleslaw. I did, I don't know if you noticed, I did have some coleslaw mix that I brought with us because I'm not gonna be shredding cabbage and making that from scratch when I'm on vacation. So I'm gonna be showing you through the week what I do with these meals, what they kind of look like when I serve them. And hopefully that will give you an idea of how you can bring meals with you on your next vacation. It doesn't have to be a ski trip. These work for anything where you have a kitchenette or a kitchen at the place that you're renting or staying at. So hopefully this will help make your next family vacation a little bit easier. And if you like the ideas that I share, then I invite you to hit that little subscribe button. Oh, I wanna show you guys the view that I have. It is pretty amazing. Look at that. Pretty impressive, hey? So yeah, okay. Hit that little subscribe button. I'm going to show you the meals that we make this week and um, hopefully it'll inspire you to make your own things and save a lot of money instead of eating out all the time on vacation. I also find it more relaxing than bringing a large family to a restaurant. <laughs> okay, I uh, will be back to show you all those meals. Hey, here I am on the second last day of our week-long ski trip. And I'm just giving you a quick update on the freezer meal situation. So I have been terrible, terrible at filming these freezer meals. You just have to take my word for it that we actually ate what I brought. Um, I think I got a, a shot of the Mexican lasagna before it went into the oven. Um, I think I got the pulled pork in the crock pot, but not like with the coleslaw on the buns or anything like that. Um, there was a soup, the sausage and um, spinach soup that the kids devoured. Like I didn't even get to eat a spoonful. There was not a bowl left for me. <laughs> Our son had some friends up here just for two days and that was when they were here and like, it was gone, I just, and I love that soup, so I did not even get to try it. But anyway, um, I, I had my quesadillas that day for lunch and it was all fine. Um, right now I have got, let's see, whoo, right now I've got just the um, hash brown casserole in the slow cooker and we're gonna have that for supper because I have discovered that we actually have not eaten any of the breakfast quesadillas or the scrambled egg bites um, for breakfast because the kids have just been grabbing and my husband too just grabbing like oatmeal and or cereal and having it really quickly on the way out the door and so tonight we're gonna have breakfast for supper with the hash brown casserole and all of the rest of the um, breakfast quesadillas and scrambled egg bites 
and then we will have kind of officially ran out of freezer meals and tomorrow will be leftover day where we just eat whatever is left over in the freezer and we did pick up a couple of frozen pizzas for the kids to have in case we decide to go on a date night or something which uh, could happen so anyway thank you for watching this not very successful what's for dinner video where I hardly showed you what I made with the freezer meals. Um, I did, I had brought some shredded rotisserie chicken from home that was in a freezer bag and I did manage to get a video of turning that into chicken salad to have on buns with soup and we had that with the chicken noodle soup yesterday. I did not get a video of the chicken noodle soup though for you. Anyway, you will have to trust me that it was delicious and good. I do have, I do have leftovers of that so I can show you. Oh, chicken noodle soup, there you go. That's what it looked like after the chicken was cooked and shredded in the crock pot and we added the noodles. There you go, very delicious, right? Okay, <laughs> so thank you for joining me this week on our family ski trip, which has been a lot of fun. Lots of board games, lots of memories made, and that is how I managed to feed our family very easily with our freezer meals. I will see you next time, guys. Happy cooking.